finally paid off in January in New York. And both ten board boxing commissioner victories, including in the piece and six draws. Behind them, how many times is there Mayweather we thought he will never? Yeah, just last summer, two or three levels above Gatti. Well, Baldwin is a fight, and he does be more worried about that. I wonder if they complain momentarily. Trying something out early. Okay. For all his strength, 12 knockouts in his long... Yeah, as though the styles are going to jail, as we expected. <laughs> Fast hand from Gatti, who may have the uh, edge in speed, having come up from Super Fellow. I think the impressive punches of the steady work from the champions of the round, but I tell you, not an awful lot in it. Punches Absolutely. Precise shots from Gatti. Persistent from Baldemir. Close start in what should be an interesting on-zon. So, experience with Baldemir. What about the start, Jim? Oh. Ab Judah and a big upset earlier in the year. He's uh, been praised with or of a boxer. But we do have to remember, Gatti was a decent boxer when he just turned. Enjoy, uh, enjoys opponents coming to war and making him do the pressing, and he's not all that comfortable with it. Is Gatti the puncher? With a little bit of room stepping back, forcing Baldemir to commit himself. Baldemir Smart. Clever stuff. Will that Baldemir? But he must have been working on that in the three month training camp. Gatti. Yes, yeah, a smart start from Gatti. Yeah, smart stuff from Gatti. That was a good right all the way through the second round. Forcing Valdemir to do the leading off, which is December 1990 for the place, really. Yeah, but not really in genuine world class. They're really super. It hasn't quite settled yet, the art. And uh, one of the Gatti in the slightest. That is one of the big problems. He's not a power puncher. The power. But if he can add to the impact, but he does not throw power, but he makes up for it in other departments. This is better work from Baldomir, but Gatti still in there. He's fainting, drawing some leads, and he's successful with the counter left hand look low. More success from the right hand, also from Baldomir. And the left Gatti. Hand. Taking a few punches in this session. And he knows that he's pretty fine. Who's uh, really relishing this rock? Well, there's early problems in this round from Gatti. We know the spirit he has. But he's missing, he's been pinned. And he's been shaken by the punches, which is a big worry. Up there, and he has been drawn in. And look at Gatti and punishing him on the counter. See? Gatti's the one committing himself in that round. In the previous round, he was causing Baldemir to lead off and he was countering the punches. Well, the roles switched in that round. It was smart stuff from Baldemir. And you can see towards the end of the round... Baldemir Gatti, ever since he won the World City, Harris Patterson in uh, the trilogy with Mickey Ward. So much. Just all of a sudden, the job looked the same spring in the legs, not the same confidence in the moves. 58 fight for Baldemir. We'll do this as long as you like. This is my kind of fight. Guys, when we saw Baldemir in Countryman Jorge Barrios, he looked massive just a couple of months ago. And he's comfortable on the back foot. He likes the counter. Gatti does not have the accuracy at this stage. Marked up. Both eyes now, Gatti. Out of range with the hook. He's the tactics right, but I think we have to give Baldemir a Right hand from Gatti. Some of the crowd on their feet here in Boardwalk Hall. Touches of the slugfest. He has spread his legs now. He's looking for leverage in the punches. It looks like another... Nasty mark under the right eye too now, Jim. Yeah, as long as it doesn't swell up, I don't think... Uh, not easy to do. Bernard Hopkins 
What a great Penel Whitaker. There's a nice right hand goes in from Gatti Zab Judah also here. Want to see this one? Dogged determination from Baldemir in the fifth. Backing Gatti up on the right. I think Gatti has troubled Baldemir a couple of times with his power with the right hand. But that, that, that was a good punch. Can oh, you can see Sack. Hurt here, Arturo Gatti in the fifth round. Staggers. Gets a left hook back. And we rewind. We know what Gatti can pull out when he's hurt. And that just lets you see the difference between a full welterweight and someone come up to the vision. It was a good punch, a solid punch, and you could see the impact on Gatti. But is this sensible Gatti, once again, looks in danger of falling apart? Stumping punches. And Valdemir is able to set himself because the punches coming back lack the power. Gatti's balance is not right. Can't generate the same power. Standing from both men, but Valdemir. But he's breathing heavily. He still has a chance to force a stoppage here, but he's having to break down. Had to take a breath himself. Gatti coming oh. back once again. Left hook from Gatti. Maybe we'll have seen the round that's going to decide who's going to come out on top here. So that's the punch. I mean, sure, you see that the delayed action Gatti was forced onto the Atlantic City, 22nd throughout his career. In that round, I thought he was on his way out. All left hook to the body. Just. Oh, the the elbow. Yeah, just complains there, Gatti, about his hand, shaping it, his right hand. Attempted body shot, wasn't it? I wonder if it caught from the elbow and damaged the elbow, or is it the wrist? But certainly something happened. That one reached the body all right. Uh, drawn in. And now he's turned southpaw. Is there a problem with the right? Yeah, Baldemir just keeping tighter, maybe more composed, but he knows. Tremendous fifth round. Just regrouping. G Ward, of course. I think his fight with Gabby Ruelas, one of them. Blood working downstairs. Instructions. Teddy Cruz, his strength conditioner, nearby. That's the team. Well, that was the punch that landed on the elbow. Antonio Margarito, maybe the danger man. The W. Back on to his toes here in round seven. Two off and in and out. Pick up some points from long range now and again. Close. Which is a bleeding again. But he's out. So with a little bit of thought, Gaff, because Valdemir is not pressurizing him. He's not using his physical advantages. It's the heads, says Wayne Hedgepeth. After that clash in the opening round, Guy and Baldemir now revered in Argentina. Yep, change of tactics from Gatti. He wants to impose himself on and Gatti. He's the other Arturo Gatti now, the boxer. And then just picking away with the jab. Yep, many felt that Baldemir have an easy round. Close and on your card, it's level. Laurent has scored the previous four rounds to Valdemir. He stopped demonstrating some of the skills. He has scored the four, the three previous. Yeah, three judges at ringside: Tom Kazmarek, Hubert Min, and John Stewart. No knockdown there. And obvious that he's winning them. Imagination at the moment. He's very predictable. Gatti, very much the TV fighter. A lot of people. So uh, that might add to the plot down the stretch. He loves, but he's making it obvious that has Valdemir failed to land. Yeah, I remember people saying Willie Pep can win rounds without la landing a punch because it was that he's doing here and he's coming back to be stealing these rounds. Valdemir putting the pedal to the floor. 
Gatti backing off, fresh on his legs, puts a combination in. That definitely was not a knockdown. Yeah, good pull of 12 rounders before. And uh, he's dealing with this well. The thing he has to get himself back in the driving seat. But he's not been prepared to do that since that tremendous fifth round. That was just a loss of balance. See here. Left hook. Here comes Malden. He wants to hang on to this title. He has to raise the pace. He has to take the initiative. Got oh. it. This uh, remarkable ring man, Alciro Gatti. Travel all the way through. Yeah, head movement batting. Paulie Malignaggi at ring. Listen, he seems to lack the, the energy getting on top of Gatti and posing himself. There's a right hand, another right hand from Baldemir. Oh, look at this. In the ninth round. Come again. Baldemir coming on strong. Had a breather, now he backs Gatti up on the ropes. Can he deal with this? Gets a left hook in, Gatti. But this is another bad spell. Almost went down there for a breather. Well, this is badly what Baldemir needed if he wants to hang on to the title. He's come up with the goods. That's a surge of energy that we're looking for. Sagging on those ropes, Arturo Gatti. Crowd trying to rally. Survival instincts there, or is Carlos Baldemir on the birds? Fighting hard for his success, but at this stage he was still trading punches with, with Baldemir. He had no choice, the legs had gone, so he couldn't move out. He never clinches in situations like this, Gatti. He always wants to fight back.